Hello, my brothers and sisters. It's Pastor Paul L. Anderson from the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Thankful Thursday. We're so happy to celebrate with you on this day. Look at Luke, the 10th chapter, verses 21 through 24. This is Jesus' prayer of thanksgiving. At the same time, Jesus was filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit. And he said, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever and for revealing them to the childlike. Yes, Father, it pleased you to do it this way. My Father has entrusted everything to me. No one truly knows the Son except the Father, and no one truly knows the Father except the Son, and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then when they were alone, he turned to his disciples and said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you have seen. I tell you, many prophets and kings long to see what you see, but they don't see it, and they long to hear what you hear, but they didn't hear it. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be unto God. What a powerful text. Jesus is now offering a prayer of thanksgiving. He is letting all of us see the importance of knowing the power of the Holy Spirit at work. Notice it says Jesus is filled with the Holy Spirit. And as he's filled with the Holy Spirit, he says something to the Father. He said, Father, I thank you for not revealing who you are and what you're doing with me and through me to those who think they're wise. But this is given to those who have childlike faith. This text begins to remind all of us of the importance of understanding how we should humble ourselves in the sight of God. Notice he says that even the prophets from days gone by wish they could have lived to see this moment, the moment that they see the full disclosure of God revealing himself through and by humanity. It lets us see that when you and I humble ourselves with that very simple childlike faith, it is then that God shares with us everything he wants us to know because we don't think we can figure it out ourselves. We live in a world today that so many people uh, think that they're wise beyond their years, that they have all the answers, they know it all. But we must remind ourselves that what we think we know, we really don't know. And the truth of the matter, the text says, it is hidden for those who have childlike faith. I want you to know that God has hidden so much for those of us who will simply seek his will and trust him and seek his face and then he'll share it with us. Let's remind those who think they know it all, you really don't know much at all because God won't allow you to know it because then you will think you figured it out on your own. So please know what the will of the Lord is. The will of the Lord is very clear and made to us all that God wants all of us to come to the saving knowledge of him and share his love with everybody. May God bless you and may heaven keep you until I see you on tomorrow. Thank you so very much for your prayerful support and all the things that we have done in ministry to help so many others. We encourage you to please remember to sow a seed. We sow seeds in more ways than one. We can tangibly sow a seed into this ministry by going to thefountainofraleigh.org and click at the donate button. It is from there you can safely and securely give through PayPal or else you may use the Tithely app. We thank you so very much for your generous support in times past and we thank you for your present support and what you will do in the future. May God richly bless you exceedingly and abundantly above all that you're able to ask, say, or think according to his power at work in you. God bless you.